day, so day one, check. Ready. Going to game one. Pound in neutral is just so so disgusting. It stays out for actually a year, so throwing it out is just ugh, there it is again. It's disgusting. Quick stock, quick stock from Graham. Ruthless edge guards. Oh my god. Oh, this is the third pound that's connected in 30 seconds, ladies and gentlemen. I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say. He's trying to catch him with these nares coming in. Graham is just not jumping, so it's not working. Graham's just throwing out these every move that I don't expect. I've seen, he's landed three pounds. He's just raw drilled with puff like four times. I don't. I mean, there's there's lots of words that could be said about this set, but I'm not allowed to say them. So. Oh, he's just suffocating. This is over. This is over. Jeez, Louise. 69. Shoutouts to you, boy. The last Geeks Weekly to be bumping. But, I mean, you know, teach her. Tuesday nights are hard for some people. I get it. But I'll be here as long as I can. Excited for the new venue. I have no idea what it looks like. All right, let's see if Lamb can get something started this game. He's already trying to put some pressure on. Not just throwing out nares and hoping they work. That's, that's the answer, you know. The only way you can defend against Pound is to power shield it. That's factual. Oh my gosh. Snag that ledge. Graham takes the first stock again. I mean, he's already got 125. I doubt we'll see his as oppressive game as last time. It'd just be ludicrous at this point. Crouching. Crouching Puff hitting Madman. Oh, there it is again. Spacing bear. Finally gets one of those nares to connect. Can't seal the deal though. It's the Marth struggle. In terms of positioning, Graham has just been exceptional this game. Either he's been on the ground when Lamb has expected him to be in the air, or vice versa. He just hasn't been able to catch anything meaningful. There's the up tilt. There's the first stock. 67% in extra credit for hi fi. And then we're just going to start up again. The barrage of aerials into the, the killing blow. It feels so helpless for, for Lamb. He just he can't catch him. And then whenever Graham gets in, he can't stop him. Finding some fares again. Just like he did at the beginning of the first stock, but wasn't able to wrap it up before Graham just hit him with it. Oh, miss wave, miss wave dash. Back to the fares. Built 93%. This is this is good, but finding this kill with Marth is just a struggle. Especially with Graham spacing around any meaningful moves. Only allowing himself to get caught by it. Oh, and that F tilt. I was going to say only allowing himself to be caught by a few fares. Oh, finally the nares are working. Get a good string here from Lamb. Builds 47%. 63, and, and just like that, we're at a more even standing than we've seen before. I don't think Lamb has ever had to lead this game or this set, so... Yeah, Graham takes the first stock again. It's just so hard for Marth. It feels. Especially with another crouching puff hitting Madman moment. Graham's just in this man's head. Yeah. Catches the kid up. Graham smiles and nods. 
You gotta get one. As if you're a Marth, sometimes you just get the F smash to the platform. Because it works sometimes. Back to spacing bear. This, this could go either way, but if we have any indication, Graham's just gonna push his advantage until the edge guard happens. Drill. Shield. I guess is it, I don't even know if it's called drill as puff. It's the same freaking move, so I'm gonna call it drill. Oh, crouching puff. Back airs. Grabs the ledge. That should be it. Oh, this is the down smash. No shine spike this time. See ya, Graham. See ya, kiddo. Asking me if it's best of three. I don't know. I don't run this place. I just got a headset on. Yeah, yeah. If I, had a, if I had a dollar for every time I've been told I look professional, I'd have one dollar. And there's all kinds of good melee going around here. I mean, none that I'm playing. Any melee I play is not good, so. Here we go. Back into game three. Going back to Battlefield. I mean, Graham had that game. Pretty much. Second half of the game, he kind of trailed off on his aggression. Got caught with a couple aerial strings and then flubbed that rest. First stock for Lamb. First lead we've really seen from him. Oof. Tried to read the get up option. Back to neutral. Oof. These dash attacks, they're probably meant to be fairs. It's just really scary. Abuse ledge get up attacks that so many characters can do against Marth. Pikachu, Puff, other people, you know. Honestly, Marth's recovery is a little lacking. New trade aerials here. Both trying to find something to start. Lamb tries to swing for an F smash, doesn't connect. And then back to neutral. Again, another swing for F smashes on these platforms. Graham's gonna start baiting it soon, probably. Expecting that super laggy move, ready to punish. Yep, you can see Graham shielding through these aerials on platform, catching him. Oh, finally. What's up? It's doing great. I'm doing fantastic, you know. Watching Marth Puff, like I said, if anything in this game was art, it's this matchup, you know. Yeah. So far, uh, Graham had an impressive four stock game one. Oof. And then threw away game two on a missed rest at the last stock. And then is slowly whittling away now in the game oh, three. Oh, wait, this is game three? This is game three, yeah, the score's not updated. So it's 1 1? Right, uh, Lamb won last game on Battlefield and then went back. Okay. Yeah, Lamb is uh, pretty good. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I had to play him round one. It was a rough, rough time. Yeah. Oof. I think you could have up tilted. I was about to say, I, I think really up tilt was the option. Yeah, oh, I gotta go play It's match. fine. <laughs> uh, there's all kinds of just drop in, drop out on this commentary today. Graham's trying to bait, bait something. Doesn't have a, he has too much percent to really commit to any options. He's gotta try to get Lamb to do something. Call with a stray aerial. At Puff, if you're Puff, it's, a, it's easy enough at 189. Oh, I thought that random fair was just going to result in the lost stock from Lamb. There you go. Kind of batting at each other. Oh, this could be it for... Manages to get the ledge. Ram jumps the ledge. Puff with the infinite jumps. Can't be stopped, can't be moved in the air. Ooh, barely misses that F smash. Caught with the fair, and that's that stock. Graham's got a nice lead here. He's got a few percent before he has to worry, and then he can sit pretty because Marth won't be able to connect anything. And that's the percent where he needs to be worried. A little bit longer, maybe, where Marth can still connect something that'll result in the death of Jigglypuff, but much longer, and Marth's just going to be spinning the stick, hoping that something hits. 
trying to catch him. With a tilt. Oh, nice just tip her up air. Off of the forward air. And we have a tight game three. Tight after that amazing showing by Hi Fi game one. It all comes down to this. Last stock. Both players spacing each other out of the aerials. Lamb finding a few hits. The forward air. Tries to dare on shield. Both daring on shield. Jeez. Both just trying to find that opening hit. Gets the dare. Crouch cancels the F smash. Still nobody finds anything that matters. And just swinging around, trying to find a lot of percent on grand. This is the percent he's got to start worry. Lamb's off stage, though. Oh, caught with the back air. Regains his jump. Back throw. Misses the fair. Oh, misses the sweet spot. And that is game three. Going to high five.